everyone. It's Terry with the Covered Chipboard, and I'm here with a uh, my first This and That Thursday video. Um, if you're unsure what I'm talking about, if you go to my blog, thecoveredchipboard.com, you'll find a post with a calendar on it, and it's going to list all of the videos that I have planned for the month of February. And to kick it off, I thought I would go ahead and do this one the last Thursday of the month. Um, I'm mainly known for my miniatures and my putt's house and uh, paper crafting with Cricut. But I've recently started doing diamond painting. And so I'm going to continue that and add that to my um, the main craft types that I'm doing now. So um, uh, let's see... There's a couple things I want to talk about. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm trying to build up my subscribers on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to start uploading a lot more videos than I have in the past. And hopefully this schedule will work, will work out for me well. But um, I'm going to have Monday Makers, which is going to be Paper Crafts. And then um, this and that Thursday and the that's going to be on the second and last Thursday of the month for now. I may add more as I go on. Um, depends on the projects from Monday, kind of. Um, and then Saturday, I'm going to have a whip and sip. And um, for those who don't know, whip is work in progress. And it mainly re will relate to um, diamond paintings. Although I might have some for... The other crafts as well. We'll just see how it goes. Um, I don't want to overload myself, but um, I think this will work out well for me. And it's possible that, like with Monday Makers, uh, those may roll over to a second or a part two video, um, especially when I do a miniature or a putt's house project. So we'll just kind of see, but that's the tentative schedule, and I do have the whole calendar posted again on the blog. So let's get started. Um, if you're new to diamond painting, I'm going to go over some tools. I did a tool video not long ago, but I have changed some things and updated and added some more items since then. So, um, <clears throat> when I first started, I bought this little bitty case to keep extra drills in or to um, kit up my diamond painting kits. And um, I found really quickly that those were not going to work. The, the containers were just too tiny. So, I wound up picking up one of these. I got it from Amazon. It did not come with these number stickers. I got these number stickers with the first kit I bought, but you could easily make these on sticker paper, print them out, and put them on there yourself. But these are, um, I really, really like this set. <clears throat> it was not expensive. I'll link it in the description below. Um, they're like little tic-tac boxes. The lid flips up. You can flip it up and pull the whole lid off to pour, pour your drills in. Blah, blah, blah. I talk so well for an adult, don't I? Um, and uh, I've just found it comes out really handy to, do, to use. Now, what I generally do when I kit up, which I'll show uh, later on, I've numbered them 1 through uh, 40 for now because I really have only had, I think 25 has been the most that I've used so far. Um, and I just go by the chart, the key on the um, diamond painting, and place number one in here, number two in here, etc. And that's how I work with my drills. Comes in this nice case. You've got tons of boxes. And I liked it so much that I wound up buying a second one. And this is what I'm keeping my extra drills in, my leftover ones. And what I've done is I've used the DMC numbers on those with these little stickers that did come with this set. So I've listed my DMC numbers on here, and that's where I'm going to keep my extra ones. Um, I did order some blank canvas, and I'm going to do a few designs of my own, and that will be a project later down the road, but we're going to use up our extra drills on that. So that's something to keep in mind and look forward to. So those, very good investment. Highly recommend these. Um... The next thing I got was this uh, brayer because once I get finished with a diamond painting or a section, I always roll the brayer over it and I generally do it from the inside out just to help secure the drills a little bit more. 
And then once I'm finished with the whole thing, I'll bray it again. Again, I think it was like $6 on Amazon. Very good investment. I wanted to try out some new pens, so I found this set on Amazon. And um, there's four in the set. I can't remember the price, but again, I will tell you that um, down below in the description with a link for all of this stuff. I will link and show prices. And it came four pens in the set. I'm really liking these pens. Um, they have little gems you can see inside. It's kind of cool. They did come with a little metal clip on, like you would clip a pen onto your pocket. And I took those off. And to take that off, all you do is pull this part off. But be careful because all those gems will spill out all over the place when you do that. So I do it very gently and then just remove that silver piece and put this cap back on. I That just got in my way and it got loose once and then it just rattled. Every time I used the pen, it drove me crazy. So, but, um, and then it comes with a cap. The metal piece is inserted. I believe you would be able to move, remove this metal piece and put a new one in if you wanted to. But I do like, it seems very sturdy when you're using it, um, even if you press hard. So I did like that about these a lot. And they're thin, really nice grip, kind of a rubbery kind of feel to them. So very nice. Love the colors. These two pins, you pop the top off. Again, I think you can replace this tip if you want. Um, there's gems inside of these as well. They're very lightweight. Um, this, where it bulges out, does give you a good grip. So I've enjoyed using these too. Although, I do favor these two over these two. So, the last pen that I got was this one. And this is a wax pen. It comes like this in this little case with two extra wax tips. So, these tips just screw off and then screw back on when your wax runs low. I don't like this for normal drilling. Um... I found it because I tend to press, so the gym would go flying, or this would just slip off, or something. So, you know, some people, they'll love it. Others, if you press hard like me, you won't find it very useful. However, I did do a partial recently that was um, special gems. There were no, really no, well, very few little small round ones. Um, they were all special shapes, and this was awesome for that. So... Very good idea to have one of those if you're going to do any special drills. And I like the little case that they came in. The last thing, now these are typical that come in your kits when you get your kits for diamond painting. I have all kinds of stuff in here. Extra white gems. Um, this came with, I'm not sure what this came with um, recently. It might have been an, another kit that I got. But it's a straightener, so you just lay it down on your on your canvas, and you can push gems and get them in straighter rows if you want. I did use that a couple of times, and it works really well. So, you know, if you see anything with this in it, that's great. Last thing would be these little cups. Um, you can buy these in a package on Amazon. Gosh, I bought them so long ago. I think I got like 10 of them for $2 or something. The cap just slips off. And I've got my extra wax in there. And it keeps it from drying out. A lot better than just the little covers they give you. So any kind of little thing like this would be nice to have. This I picked up at the dollar store. It's just a little tray. I've used it for painting, you can see. But it works out really nice. When I kit up, I can, if I can get hold of stuff here. I can place them in rows like this and go all the way down to the end. Um, so, and if you have one, like the one I just finished, I had 25 colors, so I was able to get to about right here with those 25 uh, boxes and then store my extra package of drills that I didn't put in a container and my trays and my wax all in here as well as these. And then, if I want to diamond paint someplace besides my office, I just pick this up and carry it with me. So, it was really nice. Uh, it works out really well. So, I think that's a nice, and any little basket would do. I just found these. I think I got a set of three. I think there were, there was one this size, and then one this size, and one this size, all in a little stack. 
So um, that's a really nice handy thing to have something like that to keep all your supplies in. So that's kind of all of the update on the supplies and tools that I have. Let me get this stuff out of the way here. One of these days I'm going to make a holder to hold all my pens um, <clears throat> in one of the craft videos. Let's see um, if there was anything else I wanted to talk about. Oh, I did update my rulers. I did show a video on my on using these rulers. And it comes in a really nice little package with a solid wood. It helps hold your rulers and good way to store them. Um, okay, let me get this straight here. Okay, so we have these three and this one. This was the first one I got. And I knew immediately I wanted a really long one to start with, and I couldn't find one. So I just went ahead and picked this one up. It was like $8, again, Amazon. Um, as Hopefully you can see this. I don't know. Let me stick a, something under here. Here. Oh, that's not good. Let's try this. Can you see the hole right here? I broke it. It also is broken down here. So they do break. Not super easy, but if you press hard, they do. And what happened was is I had drills from a no name, we won't mention the name where it came from, from a kit, and the drills were not all the same size. So when I would hit with a big one, I'd force it, not realizing that it was breaking it. So you really don't want to force it, and I will show you when I get to my whip and I use my rulers, uh, a little trick that I've figured out for using these that makes it a lot easier and you probably won't break it that way. So then I found this kit and it comes with these three different sizes. So you've got a little small one, oh, a little bit bigger one, and a really long one. And the really long one I love, and I used it the other day and I'm really enjoying it. Um, they do make them for round and square drills. And what this is, is you lay it down on your canvas. You kind of adhere this part right here, the solid part, to your canvas. And then it, when you add your drills, it keeps them perfectly straight. Um, I did find issues when I laid it completely flat. And again, when I go to do my whip for this kit, I will talk more about how I use that. I think it was like 12 or 13, 14 maybe dollars uh, for this set of three. And I, I really like them. If you get kind of anal like I do about um, your drills being straight, then you'll really enjoy these. And I think that's the last of the update. Oh, I do have, at some point, um, <clears throat> Like I said, I'm trying to get my subscriber up, numbers up on YouTube. And once I reach 1,000, I'm going to have a giveaway. And um, I'm going to do a diamond painting kit. And then I'm going to do something else that has to do with the uh, miniatures or Pets House Monthly. And um, I haven't decided exactly which yet, but you'll have a choice. So it's not just for diamond painters or not just for... Uh, other crafters so um, that'll be coming up too and I'm not sure if I'm going to announce it or if it's just gonna suddenly pop up in a video so you'll just have to wait and see it will you know it will just have to watch as it gets to a thousand we'll see how quick we get there so diamond art club um, when I first started diamond painting like most people, I just picked up an inexpensive kit off of um, Amazon. I also ordered um, several kits from another place that comes from China. And not even thinking about, I mean, you'd think I'd know this. I've been doing crafts and I I'm an artist and I've been doing all this stuff for many years. So you'd think I would have thought about it, but it never even crossed my mind. Probably, I will say 99%. I'm not going to say 100%. Um, 
and don't quote me on this, or I'll hunt you down, but 99% of kits that are less expensive that you would get on Amazon, that you would get, uh, or I won't say Amazon, I'll say that come from China, are not licensed artwork, which means they are taking an artist's images and using them and not paying the artist. Many times without that artist ever even realizing that it's been done. And I think there's a huge shift in the diamond art world to stop this. So, um, and there have been a few YouTube creators who've had a uh, content strike against them recently uh, for showing videos of some of these canvases. So, I have made a conscious decision that I am not going to buy from these companies anymore. I did have, what I placed three orders. So I will keep those and do them for myself. I'm not going to show them on my channel. Um, but I'm not going to purchase any more from these companies. I'm only going to purchase from now on from companies that license, have licensed artwork. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The weather here is awful and I have allergies and coughing so I need a drink. No sippy sippy. Okay, thank you for bearing with me there. So, Diamond Art Club is one that does um, sell licensed artwork. I'm going to try to, to gather a list because there are several companies that do. Um, some of them list it on their website. Some don't. So, you can always look at the store and see what they say. Um, you also could write or email the company that you're wanting to purchase from and ask them outright. I have done that three times at three different places, and I have not gotten a response back from any of them. I don't think I'm going to. Um, I don't know. Maybe they think I'm the licensing police or something. I Who knows? But I figure if they're not answering me, then they're not selling licensed artwork. So, and I'm not going to say who those companies are right now. Um, but I will try to compile a list and put it on my blog so that, you know, maybe it'll help educate somebody who doesn't know. Now, the issue with me doing that is these are quite a bit more expensive than the cheap kits or the kits from China. Um, sometimes as much as three or four times as much. So that does limit how often I can buy and how often I can show you and do whips with them. But I'm going to try to do, you know, um, I think what it's going to wind up being is I'll get a kit and do my whip on it until it's finished, which will probably take me through a month, maybe uh, two months. I don't know. It depends how often I do the whips. But um, because I do the other things as well as this, I cannot do a whip every single day. And... Um, but I'll do them as quickly as possible. And you may not see me complete the whole thing. It may be just bits of it here and there. Um, I do have this kit. I just finished two of those, which I did show. And I have two more kits ordered. So that should take me for a little while. So we'll just see how it goes from there. But on their kits... Um, I prefer round, they make round and square. I prefer working round ones. And on diamond art kits, you can tell if it's a round or square by this symbol right here. If it's round, it'll be round. If it's square, it'll be a square symbol. It also says round or square on it. So this one is, like I said, I had purchased three the first time in my first order. And this was the biggest one, which I saved to last. I think maybe I should have done the biggest one first, but um, so much for that. I've got the image covered up here so you can't see it, but this one is um, 52 centimeters by 72 centimeters. It's 20 and a half inches by 28.3 inches. Oh, huh. Sorry, got distracted there which I easily do. Um, they come packaged in these really nice boxes. Um, so far, I've not had a box messed up at all. You have your instructions on the back, kit contents, 
several couple of different languages. Um, and then there's a little picture here of the image and the dimensions. So let's go ahead and open this puppy up. I think I sh might have shown this in another video, but I did not open it. So I haven't seen anything yet. Okay. So. The little piece of paper that I was using to cover it up with, that image with, is a sticker. You get, this is what the image is. It's called Time. And let's see, it is by Suniva Meister. Suniva, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right. But um, this will come inside your kit. It is a sticker. So there's several different ways you could use this. I have a thing for owls. I love owls. And this one with the clock and the gears, it's just right up my alley. And I'm actually thinking about making this into a working clock when it's finished. That'll be a little bit down the road, but I'll be sure to show you how I do it when I do. Um, you know, once you're finished, if you wanted to, you could take this and stick it to the back of the canvas or the back of your frame just as a record. Um, it is a key you can use. I, I don't really see any need to use this. Some people, I guess, would take, could take this and cut it apart and attach it to your um, containers. I probably won't do that. And then there's this other little sticker, and I'm going to use these in my uh, diamond painting logbook. So those are kind of nifty little things that come with it. It does come in a plastic bag. Your drills will be inside. So here's our drills. And I like Diamond Art Club puts a sticker on the package that comes in a plastic bag. And there's a sticker and it says time. It also gives you a number. And um, so if you store this separate from this, then when you get ready to go do your diamond painting, all you have to do is look for the correct one. So that's really nice. A lot of kits don't do that. Um, I'm going to set the drills aside. And we'll go ahead and pull this out. I've heard a lot of talk about storing your kits um, before you work on it with um, hangers, I really, I think you're fine leaving it in the box sealed up. So I wouldn't, you know, but that's up to you. However you have room, I guess. So let's look at this. Already I like it. Nice symbols. Let's see, hopefully you can see this. Really nice symbols. Hopefully that's focusing. Very clear. Um, and it's kind of sparkly. They're, the, their canvas is it's really soft, kind of a fell or a velvety feel to the back, stitched edges, and the front has kind of have a has kind of a sparkle to it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but so does the canvas area where the glue is. They are poured glue, um, not double sided tape which I do not like and you know I'm a fan of double-sided tape I use it in all my crafts but for this I don't like it I don't think it's near as sturdy or will last near as long I think the um, poured glue does so we'll keep going here and I'm going to have to do this a little bit at a time it's really long isn't he cool he is gonna look so cool finished I'm just thrilled with this but I'm thinking see I can get um let's see I scoot this back down here I'm thinking I can get like a gold Roman 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 ramen can't eat them gold Roman numerals to apply all the way around and then add the clockworks here and then mount it onto a canvas I believe so again we'll just have to see how that works um but love, love, love the colors. I thought it was going to be super dark to work, and it's not, which I'm thrilled about. I have trouble seeing the dark. So I'm super excited that a lot of this is much lighter. And, oh, it's humongous down here. 
So, um, let's see, there are 23 colors, which again surprises me. I would have thought it would have had more colors than that. But, I'm okay with that. That works for me. Again, here's your um, key. They do have one on down here at the bottom and one up here in the top, whoops, top left corner. So it makes it easy to work if you, you know, something like this, I'm probably gonna work halfway up, then turn the canvas and work the other half. So it's nice to have that key on both. I wish, however, that they would turn one upside down. Um, you know, if they're gonna put two, let's, let's put this one right up, right side with the top, but this one down here, turn it around so that when you turn your canvas around, oh, it's hard getting all this in here. Your, um, it wouldn't be upside down. I think that would be my only complaint. And one of the ones I did had that done that way. Um, so that would be my only complaint that I wish that uh, Diamond Art Club would do is to flop one of these upside down. So, it looks good. There's no wrinkles. Um, I'm still seeing them with these areas where the glue, it doesn't feel like it's thinner. It's just like something was pressed on it. I'm not sure if that's from where it's been rolled up. But my um, one of my other ones from them was just like that, the dragons. And it worked out just fine. I didn't have any problems with it. Nothing's popped off of it. So I'm not going to worry about it. So there we go. There's the image. I'm going to roll this back up. I'm probably going to have to start this tonight. I don't think I can wait till tomorrow. So let's get that out of the way. Let's look at our drills. Ugh. Just keep sniffling. Sorry about that. And so your drills will come like this. And they put the color number. So let me see if I can show you here. So like on here, and this is where I was talking about my containers. Um, the first color, they number it one through however many colors there are. So the first color are these symbols that are right, I think that's these, I'm not sure, I'll have to look at it a little closer, but, um, and it's DMC color 310, so that's going to be where is it? So on these packages, they'll list the color number 310. So then I would open this and dump it into my number one container. And I only open one at a time. These are fairly big bags. But let's look at... the drills. They look really nice. I, I haven't... in the like I said, I've done two of their kits and the drills were all nice. No trash in there. Um, the one that I did that was squares, I did find a couple of little nibs on one color, but it wasn't enough to be an issue. And they do give you extra drills in, in so you have more than enough and you'll, you will wind up with extra drills. So I'm not even going to try to get this back together because I made a big old friggin' mess out of it. Ah, uh, so there's no way I'm going to get this back in that bag, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to wind up starting it anyway. So, pretty colors, mostly browns and blacks, which I knew it was going to be. A little bit of red and some gold, a little bit of orange. I'm going to love this. I am so going to love this. I think this is going to be like my all-time favorite one that I've done so far. 
So that's it for today. Um, I'll start this, and like I said, my whip will be, um, let's see my calendar here. Um, Saturday the 6th is when I'll show a whip for this, and then it will be every Saturday. Um, Monday the 1st, I have a construction video for you um, of the January Putts House Monthly Kit, showing you how to put that together. And then the following Monday, um, I have a Cricut book that I found in, um, in Cricut Design Space that we're going to make. Um, it's made out of card cardstock. I'm going to attempt to try to make it out of uh, the faux leather or faux suede, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but that kind of gives you an idea of what's coming up. And then, of course, next Thursday the 11th, I'll have a this and that Thursday, and I hope to have an unboxing, another Diamond Art Club unboxing then. So we'll just see how quick stuff gets here. It's been shipped, so hopefully, you know, it should be here by then, but we'll see. Who knows? Can't blame them. The mail's all screwed up because of the corona, and USPS is backed up. FedEx is a hopeless cause, um, and... Um, course the USPS is just what it always is slower than Billy you know what anyway so thanks for joining me I hope you like this canvas grab one of your own go order one for yourself and join me on Saturday when we work together with it and um, that's it guys have a great day um, stay safe healthy and be kind to others bye bye